As a proud Kamilaroi woman, I would like to acknowledge the land on which Woodley stands, the Bunurong Bunurong land. <laughs> I pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging, and I extend that respect to all First Nations people here with us tonight. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Woodley for embedding First Nations perspectives throughout the school. Woodley respects First Nations peoples as custodians of this land and is committed to reconciliation. I am grateful to have had the opportunity to complete my secondary schooling at Woodley. Thank you. Good evening, students, staff, and families. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to the class of 2021 valedictory. I think that it is safe to say that at some point or another throughout this year, we all thought that this night wasn't gonna happen, or at least not in the way we had hoped. So I'm exceptionally glad that our parents can be here tonight and celebrate with us after the crazy two years that we've had. I've been at Woodley ever since year seven and have had the privilege of getting to know all of my fellow classmates and I'm honoured that I'm able to speak on behalf of all of the students tonight. First and foremost, I would like to congratulate everybody for completing not only year 12, but all of VCE throughout COVID. Despite everything it has thrown at us, we finally made it. These past two years have been full of highs, lows, and everything in between. With bread trees and lockdowns, I'm happy to say that we've grown and become stronger, better, more understanding people after everything that we've been through. I would like to give my thanks to Woodley and the amazing family that it cultivates. From my first time stepping in the newly renovated Homestead One, right up until minutes before an exam starts, Woodley has provided us a unique and wonderful school experience. Not only did we learn the basics that are expected from a school, but almost every student here can navigate themselves in the middle of nowhere with just a compass and a map. <laughs> from city bound to outward bound and Hatter, there's not an experience at Woodley that I feel I'll be forgetting soon. A massive thank you to all of our wonderful teachers, those, of, those who have been there for heartbreaks over test results or maybe a relationship or two throughout the years. Our teachers from whenever we started at Woodley, be that ELC or just last year, have helped us and encouraged us over every hurdle or challenge and celebrated every win for, with us. Woodley is not made by the buildings and the curriculum. Woodley is made by the people and the belief system that guides them. The installation of individuality throughout our education has allowed us to become better, more well-rounded people, and I thank you for that. Support through VCE begins at home, so I would like to extend a thank you to all of our families, both here tonight and not, for your unwavering support throughout these last two years. Whether Burton Braley, he wrote this in 1917, and perfectly it's called Opportunity. So I want you to have this poem tonight to be something you can take away, something you can remember, and something I think and hope that inspires you in life. So if you'll bear with me, I'd like to read it to you. With doubt and dismay, you are smitten, that you think there's no chance for you. Why the best books haven't been written, the best race hasn't been run. The best score hasn't been made yet, the best song hasn't been sung, the best tune hasn't been played yet, cheer up, for the world is young. No chance, why the world is just eager, for things that you ought to create. Its store of true wealth is still meagre, its needs are incessant and great. It yearns for more power and beauty, more laughter and love and romance, more loyalty, labour and duty. No chance? Why, there's nothing but chance. For the best verse hasn't, hasn't been rhymed yet. The best house hasn't been planned. The highest peak hasn't been climbed yet. The mightiest rivers aren't spanned. Don't worry and fret faint-hearted. The chances have just begun. For the best jobs haven't been started, the best work hasn't been done. To our amazing Woodley staff who are here tonight, I know that the students will say their own thank yous this evening, 
However, I also want to thank you for inspiring them to be the very best that they can be, particularly during the last two years. To the parents and carers who are here with us tonight, on behalf of your children, I thank you for providing them with the wings to fly, the foundation lessons of life, and a home to which they will always return. The story of life is quicker than the wink of an eye. The story of love is hello and goodbye. Until we meet again. It's my pleasure now to begin the graduation ceremony. Our graduating students will be presented by their respective tutors and presented with their graduation certificates by Mr Baker. So can I ask David to return to the stage, the students of V1 to move to the left of stage and introduce Diane Fabianic, the tutor for V1 to begin the ceremony. It is my pleasure to introduce uh, V1. Uh, if we could please hold our applause until all of the tutor group have been presented, that would be much appreciated. Isabel Ellen. Izzy joined Woodley and Homestead One in Year Seven. Izzy is a talented student and musician and has received numerous awards for academic excellence during her time at Woodley, including the Humanities Faculty Award last year, of which she is rightly very proud of. There is one thing I wish I knew about Izzy earlier, and that is in year eight, she wrote a speech about why Batman was the greatest superhero, because I'd like to hear her arguments. I think she's forgotten. <laughs> Izzy has been a regular performer at Woodley recitals and assemblies, and is a fine example of the talent that is nurtured in the Jago Centre at Woodley. She hopes to study arts at university next year and has already received an early entry offer to the Australian National University in Canberra. Thanks. Aidan Bosch. Aidan has been at Woodley since he joined as a four-year-old in early childcare centre at Minimba. Aidan loves sports and has been an active member of numerous SIS sport teams throughout his time at Woodley, including handball, football, soccer and basketball. He was also a member of the senior representative basketball team that this year won the Division I competitions and qualified for the state finals. Despite his best efforts, he never managed to teach me anything about basketball or handball. <laughs> Aidan has also been active in round square conferences, including undertaking an exchange to Chadwick School in California. Next year, Aidan hopes to break, take a break from learning and work for a while before pursuing a degree in exercise and sports science. Ruby Broomhall. Ruby joined Woodley and Homestead 4 as a Year 7 student. Ruby is passionate about the arts and won the Arts Faculty Prize in Year 11. She has been a staple member of school productions whilst at Woodley and also has also been instrumental in organising community service events at school, particularly her organisation of Eat Up. Ruby hopes to pursue further study in education next year. Thanks to being Ruby's tutor since year 10 and her patience during all those academic interviews and questions about extracurricular activities, I've finally learned how to spell the word calisthenics. Christopher Davis. Chris started at Woodley as a year four student at Minimba. Chris is this year's swimming captain and a keen student of humanities and literature. He's a thoughtful and reliable young man who's this year attained his open water dive and advanced adventure certificates at this year's dive camp. I really enjoyed hearing about your underwater adventures. Beyond Woodley, Chris hopes to take a gap year to travel overseas and visit family and then pursue either law or international relations at university. Raya Flinas. Raya joined Woodley in term four of year seven. 
Raya is an incredibly community-minded young woman whose contributions and leadership in the area saw her awarded both the King Constantine Medal and the Long Tan Youth Leadership and Teamwork Award. Raya is also a talented mathematician. She is such a caring individual, and I, was all, I will always remember how disappointed she was during lockdowns, not for herself, but the, for the fact that events like Eat Up and the Sleep Out could not go ahead. After Woodley, Raya hopes to study arts, perhaps travel, and continue to be involved in community work. Isabella Gosling. Bella joined Woodley and Homestead One in Year 7. Bella is a talented student in Humanities and Languages and received the Faculty Award for French last year. Bella has been heavily involved in community activities while at school, including Eat Up, The Sleep Out, and last year in promoting the film 2040 to raise awareness about climate change. Behind every successful event is someone like Bella, who doesn't take the glory, but ensures everything runs smoothly. Amongst Bella's strengths is her ability to connect with people. Bella hopes to study arts next year. Marlon Lewicki. Marlon joined Woodley and Homestead 6 in Year 9. Marlon has a passion for finance, economics and accounting. He lists scuba camp and diving to 30 metres as one of his most memorable experiences at school. Post Woodley, Marlon plans to explore the world and enjoy life to the fullest. Marlon has a quirky, fun sense of humour, and this was shown to the fullest extent when he discovered the filters on Zoom. Every day was a surprise. Asha McGree. Asha has been with Woodley since year two at Penbank campus. Asha is an independent and critical thinker a keen basketballer and enjoys product design and technology, particularly woodwork. Asha has been a constant member of this cohort's basketball team, including that which this year qualified for the state championships. I have enjoyed the witty, witty banter back and forth with Asha during his time in Senior Homestead. Asha is not considering university at this point in time and is interested in working to make a living for himself. Ned Murdoch. Ned joined Minimbar in Term 4 of 2013 as a Year 4 student. Ned is an all-rounder who enjoys all his subjects but holds a particular passion for science. His most memorable experiences at Woodley have been the Hatter and the Ski Race team camps. He also played trumpet and was a member of the Jazz Band and the Extension Ensemble up to Year 9. Ned shows a quiet confidence and was a pleasure to have in tutor group. He was always someone that could be relied on. Ned hopes to study science at the University of Melbourne next year. Talia Palmer. Talia joined Woodley in 2011 as a year three student at the Minimbar campus. Talia enjoys humanities and is a talented state level soccer player who has been an active member of the school's SIS sports program, taking on leadership roles within many teams. Talia lists Hatter as one of her most memorable experiences at Woodley, as it taught her many lessons in teamwork and perseverance. She is an amazing task manager as she balanced soccer with school and work, and thus was forgiven the occasional lateness to morning meetings on Zoom. Talia hopes to study politics, philosophy, and economics next year. Joel Quick. Joel joined Woodley in year seven, becoming a member of Homestead 4, where I was one of the tutors. It has been my pleasure to see Joel grow and mature throughout his secondary school years. And I mean literally grow. Believe it or not, at one point, Joel used to be shorter than me. Joel is a friendly, kind and personable young man who has a quiet but strong presence amongst his peers. He is an avid sportsman and has been an active member of numerous SIS sport teams throughout his time at Woodley, but holds a particular passion for basketball. Joel has been a consistent member of this year's group's all-conquering basketball team and was a member of the senior representative basketball team that won 
that this year won the Division I competitions and qualified for the state finals. Joel is keeping his options open for the next year and we'll see how he goes. Noah Sahaley. Noah has been with Woodley since he began in the Early Learning Centre at Minimba. Noah's passion is the performing arts and he has been a constant presence in Woodley's ensembles, choirs and school productions since joining the senior campus. He dazzled audiences with his performances in Little Shop of Horrors, Footloose, Legally Blonde and So Far Away. He has been recognised for his excellent contribution to the musical life of the school and Noah's amazing voice and performance of Bedouin Song opened our recent reflection service. I remember being amazed the first time I had the opportunity to see him perform. It was such a delight to see him in his element. Next year, Noah hopes to study music at Melbourne University, majoring in interactive composition. Frank Taplin. Frank joined Minimbar in year five and entered Homestead One when arriving at the senior campus. Frank is a quiet student, but don't let this fool you. He has a sense of humor that is very dry and a strong sense of justice. Frank has an interest in the arts and humanities. He lists the top end tour amongst his most memorable experiences at Woodley, and he hopes to study design or landscape architecture at university next year. Orlando Greg Willis, uh, Willis Greg couldn't be here today, but Orlando joined Woodley in year seven as a member of Homestead Seven. Orlando is a quiet student who plays to his strengths and has developed expertise in maths, science and computer programming, for which he was recognized, creating a brilliant piece of programming. It was great to see him push himself outside of his comfort zone this year, both figuratively and literally being out of his depth in attaining his SIS Open Water Diving Certification during dive camp. He hopes to take a gap year next year and then pursue tertiary studies. Thank you. Good evening. I'm the. Uh, I'm, my name's Matthew Eddy. I'm the um, tutor for V2, who are just assembling over there, and they're all almost all here, which is more than I can say for our our Zoom morning morning meetings this year. Anyway, um, please. Yeah, I'll, I'll introduce each student, and please hold your applause until until the end. Blake Cooper. Blake has been with Woodley since three-year-old kinder at Minimbar. He joined Homestead 4 on his arrival to senior campus and has impressed all with his passion for music ever since. Blake is an accomplished guitarist and counts his participation in the rock band as one of his best memories at Woodley due to the nature of playing music for fun and having the chance to get up and play in front of others. His guitar collection, which he, he's, he often has a guitar case with him and I say, oh, can I see what's in that case, Blake, and, and the collection that he's already amassed is, is so complete and beautiful, so it, it can make a grown man cry, truly can. His punctuality to Zoom meetings is also legendary, so well done, Blake. Next year, Blake hopes to continue playing guitar and to pursue further study in mechanical engineering. Chloe Easton. Chloe joined Woodley in year seven as a member of Homestead Six. Chloe, as you heard, is a passionate Camilla Roy woman. She has been an active member of the Woodley Reconciliation Group and has often delivered the acknowledgement of country at various public events. Chloe was also involved with Woodley's First Nations Partnership programs and has spoken at many assemblies. 
Chloe is always up for a chat when the opportunity presents itself and her care and concern for others is always on display. After Woodley, Chloe hopes to work in the area of Aboriginal health and politics to make a difference. Thanks, Chloe. Karen Fenton. Or should I say Kaz? Kaz joined Woodley as a year seven student entering the Homestead Six family. She is a proud Gunai Kurnai woman who has been part of the Woodley Reconciliation Group. Kaz frequently presented the acknowledgement of country at assemblies and numerous special events. And in 2020, she was a key speaker at the Woodley Reconciliation Assembly. Kaz has also completed work placements at Willem Moraine and Minambar. Kaz is a warm and friendly person and it was a, a joy to see her fine comic timing in the drama production earlier this year. Next year, Kaz will be undertaking a traineeship in the EEC at Minambar. So we are thrilled that Kaz will, Kaz will uh, be continuing her journey with us here at Woodley. Congratulations. Tucker Hazel. Tucker joined Penbank in year two and entered Homestead One as a year seven student. Tucker is a quiet young man with an interest in the arts, the outdoors, and product design and technology. Tucker is a good friend to his peers and has made the most of the camps and activities available to him during his time at Woodley, undertaking the fishing camp, which was a particular favourite, I believe, and the Mount Buffalo and Tasmanian adventures. Tucker has a very fine collection of sunglasses that identify him as a member of one of V2's well-known cliques. Following Woodley, Tucker hopes to pursue an electric, electrical apprenticeship. Thanks, Tucker. Laura Jarvis. Laura joined Woodley in year eight and was a member of Homestead too. Laura loves writing and has a passion for English and literature. So the things she wants to do in the future and the way she likes to spend at least some of her spare time are no surprise. She's been a constant member of the Homework and Learning Club and is rightly proud of her involvement in this. Laura says she has gained great joy from helping the students develop their academic abilities and through the meaningful relationships that he has, she has developed through this. I'm also very pleased to, to share with you some very recent news that Laura has just had her artwork shortlisted for Top Arts. <laughs> and, and as for her future, next year, Laura plans on having a gap year before studying journalism the following year. Congratulations, Laura. Luke Johnson. Oh. Luke, Luke joined Woodley and Homestead 7 in term four of year 10. Luke is a quiet student who is passionate about computing and hopes to turn this into his career path. Luke has an adventurous side too, attending the, the Queenscliff Dive Camp in year 11 and Mount Buffalo Camp in year 12, and especially the dive camp he attributes to helping him make many of his friends at Woodley. It can take a little while to discover Luke's quirky and dry sense of humour, but it's been a pleasure getting to know this side of him more over recent months. Luke hopes to study software engineering at university next year. Congratulations, Luke. Josh McDonald. Josh has been with Woodley since year three at Minambar campus. He joined Homestead One when moving to the senior campus. Josh is a quiet and artistic student with a love of media and the arts. He was involved in developing an entry into a mental health short film competition, the Mentalicious Film Competition, when he was in year 10. He's sold his unique designs printed onto products at the arty market. And on fishing camp in year 10, Josh made a very amusing film that was presented to Mr. Chapel as a retirement gift. His short films and art presentations continue to delight his teachers and other audiences. Another member of the V2 Sunglasses clique, Josh is also developing fine taste in shirts, I've noticed. Uh, next year, Josh is, oh, it's a bit colourless today though. Anyway, next year, Josh has already been accepted to study screen media and film. So congratulations, Josh, well done. Olivia Marshall. 
Liv joined Woodley in term four of year eight and was welcomed into the Homestead Four family. Liv is a passionate and principled student who has involved herself in many actions to improve both Woodley and the wider community. Liv was a member of the Melbourne School Strike for, team, for, Strike for Climate team. Sorry, She was the initiator of the face mask making group that made and donated masks for a local nursing home last year. And this year she initiated and led a student forum on consent and respectful language. I can't fault Liv's priorities either as she would, she would often send me a message at 8.45 a.m. saying she was going to be late to Zoom Modi meeting because she was walking her dog. It is no surprise that following Woodley, Liv hopes to study human rights at university. Archie Norman. Archie joined Woodley as a Year 7 student, becoming a member of Homestead 3. Archie is a practical worker who has demonstrated the passion and talent for product design and technology. He also loves the outdoors and has made the most of his time at Woodley to experience a range of outdoor camps and activities through both the study of outdoor and environmental studies and the camping program. He's twice taken part in downhill ski and boarding camps, joined the fishing camp and the Queenscliff scuba and snorkel camp. On a recent dress up day, Archie's impersonation of Don Johnson, for those who remember, took me straight back to Miami Vice. Uh, next year, Archie hopes to undertake an apprenticeship in carpentry. Louis Oberman Watkins can't be with us tonight. Louis joined Woodley at the Minimbar campus as a five-year student, uh, sorry, a year five student and became a member of Homestead One. Louis is a quiet, thoughtful student who comes alive when discussing areas he's passionate about. He is a great conversationalist and has enjoyed his involvement in history, the arts, particularly in photography, and was a keen fisherman also on the fishing camp in year 10. The third member of the Sunglasses clique, Louis has treated me to conversations in which he's shown a remarkable grasp of American politics, as well as the ins and outs of the matrix that completely went over my head when I watched it years ago. I'll need to revisit that one. Louis hopes to pursue studies in cybersecurity next year. Ainsley Payton. Ainsley joined Woodley and Homestead four in year seven. Ainsley is a talented student who has received academic excellence awards in 2017, 2018 and 2019. She has a passion for literature and French language and undertook an exchange to Quebec in Canada in 2019 that she counts as one of her most impactful experiences at Woodley. She's also a keen netballer and has been heavily involved in the homework and learning club for many years. I've enjoyed Ainsley's sharp and dry importantly dry, sense of humour <laughs> and have appreciated her considerate and caring approach to all those around her. After Woodley, Ainsley hopes to study arts and has already been offered an early entry offer to the ANU in Canberra. She also has a dream to speak fluent French and perhaps undertake some of her studies in France. Ben Reynolds. Ben joined Woodley as a year six student at Minimbar and became a member of Homestead Two on entering senior campus. Ben is a keen sportsman and has been an active contributor to the Woodley sports program. He has represented Woodley in surfing, swimming, athletics, cricket, cross country and football. And the list probably goes on. This year, Ben won the senior boys cross country and was co-vice captain of senior boys football team this year. Ben also loves fishing and surfing in his local area which led him, led to him enjoying a week of adventure and exploring at Phillip Island camp this year. I also hear that he was a coffee connoisseur on that camp, man after my own heart. And actually, that can I borrow that jacket next week? Um, ben is hoping to follow his interest in the sciences into university next year. Cheers, Anya. Alyssa Schneider. Alyssa joined Woodley in year 10 as a member of Homestead 7. Alyssa is a self-motivated and outgoing student who is passionate about sustainability and the sciences. She is already a budding entrepreneur with an established lingerie brand that focuses both on sustainability and ethical work practices. Alyssa lists the Overland Track as her most memorable experiences at Woodley, inspiring her to continue hiking outside of Woodley. I saw firsthand Alyssa's 
fearful, fearless, sorry, fearless approach to challenges on the cliffs of Mount Buffalo earlier this year. I'm also very pleased to be able to announce that Alyssa has also just had her artwork shortlisted for Top Arts. Well done. Post Woodley, Alyssa hopes to pursue her business and also study environmental science with the aim of one day working in conservation. Congratulations. Jack Shalikoff. Jack started at Minimbar in years five and joined Homestead too when he entered senior campus. Jack is an outspoken young man who stands for what he believes in. He has talents in maths and science, particularly in coding and programming. Jack also loves the outdoors and speaks highly of his out, outward bound experience. Jack was, albeit unofficially, but, and, but uh, unanimously at the same time, voted our most most valuable player at our Zoom morning meetings this year. With his camera on, tours of his garden and just endless banter, whether his hair was wet or not. Jack's short-term goal is to play in a band and study engineering science at university and all of this with the long-term goal to automate jobs that can be automated. That's great. Thanks, Jack. Emma Sherrington. Emma joined the Minimbar campus as a year five student in 2014 and became a member of Homestead 4 when entering the senior campus. Emma is a passionate student who has immersed herself fully in all aspects of the life of the school, including musicals, the music program, community service and sports. Emma was involved in the Little Shop of Horrors, Footloose, Legally Blonde. She has performed in numerous orchestras, choirs and ensembles and has been a member of the SIS cross country, athletics, soccer teams, Emma recalls her participation in Operation Wallacea as having the biggest impact upon her during her time at the school. I've really admired Emma's enthusiastic yet unobtrusive way of taking advantage of all of the experiences available to her. And anyone who can study three VCE math subjects deserves some sort of reward. Next year, Emma hopes to study sports sciences at university. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Hello. All right, so it's my pleasure to introduce V3. They are the most epic homestead group ever. Every competition, we smashed it, we rocked it, we're the best. Here we go. Dominic Bednarik. Dom joined Woodley in year seven, becoming a member of the Homestead Three family. She's a confident, outgoing young woman who has embraced the more, embraced the more adventurous opportunities on offer during her time at Woodley, including the top end tour, Buffalo Adventures, horse riding in the high country, and participating in many SIS sports, including netball, soccer, handball, and... Mm, no, I think I said them all. Dom entertained us at, on Buffalo Adventures with her amazing jaffle-making skills and in morning meetings with her awesome crocheting. She plans to attend university at some point, but first hopes to see the world and find what means most to her. Charlie Bond. Charlie, Charlie commenced Woodley midway through year nine. Charlie is an effervescent and caring student with an interest in sports, accounting and finance. Charlie has been a constant competitor in numerous SIS sports He's, and is an accomplished tennis player and a tennis coach at Overport Park Tennis Club. As a Melbourne supporter, Charlie has enjoyed one of his 
one of his finest years. Being the gentleman he is, he never once gloated over the thrashing that they gave us in the grand final. Charlie is still considering his options after Woodley, but hopes to leave a positive impact on all the people he meets, no matter what field he pursues. Having known Charlie for the last two years, I cannot see how he could do anything but that. Sarah Deng. Sarah joined Woodley in year seven and was a member of Homestead 4. She is a quiet and kind young woman and a very talented sportswoman. She's been an active member of numerous SIS sports, competing in soccer, volleyball, athletics, and particularly netball where she has excelled. She's been active in the Eat, um, Eat Up program and has taken a leading role in the Homework and Learning Club during her time at Woodley. Sarah has an interest in healthcare and hopes to pursue a further career in nursing or healthcare industry. Knowing what a caring and compassionate nature Sarah has, I believe she will stand out in whichever field she chooses. Ben Fuster. Ben joined Woodley as a year seven student in the Homestead Three. He has a passion for science and mathematics and received the Maths Faculty Award in year 11 in recognition of his ability in the subject. Ken, ben is also a keen sportsman and passionate basketballer and was a member of the senior basketball team that qualified for the Victorian Basketball Championships this year. Quiet and unassuming, Ben is a natural leader that inspires others. He is always there to support and help and is very well respected by those around him. Ben hopes to study engineering next year and to further his basketball ambitions. Good job, Bob. Erin Grocott. Erin joined Woodley as a year seven student. Erin is a talented student who has taken every opportunity available to her to grow and take advantage of every experience that Woodley has to offer. She has been a cast member in school musicals, been part of many sports teams, fully involved in community service projects such as Eat Up, undertaken student exchanges to Canberra and Peru, and all whilst being commended for her consistent application and effort to work through her time at school. She also won the Year 11 English Faculty Prize in 2020. Erin is a caring and beautiful person who inspires others around her to be the best versions of themselves. Erin has a passion for community health and wants to work in the area of nursing or psychology in future years. Molly Harnett. Molly joined Woodley in Year 7 and was a member of Homestead 4. Molly is a bright and effervescent young woman, a talented sportswoman. She's been a constant presence in Woodley's sports team, representing the school in numerous teams, including football, basketball, softball, netball, indoor cricket, and volleyball, to name a few. She is also an especially talented cricketer. Molly has also contributed to many service activities whilst at school, including Eat Up, has performed in foot, Footloose and Legally Blonde, and has undertaken broadening horizons opportunities, such as an exchange to Quebec in 2019. Molly never failed to brighten the day for all of us in V3 during morning meetings on Zoom with her sense of humour and sharing nature. Molly is still considering her options, is happy to work next year and see where this takes her. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> Ollie Howe. Ollie joined Woodley as a year three student at Pembank. Ollie is a hardworking and caring young man who loves his sport as well as maths and physics. He's part of the aviation program at school and took his first solo flight this year. Ollie counts Hatter as his most memorable experience at school. Ollie is an avid Hawk supporter and celebrated every little win this year. He wore his Hawk socks with pride on camp every day and we don't talk about the losses. Ollie hopes to become a pilot after leaving Woodley and to continue doing the things he loves. Georgia Jones, who is not with us tonight. So bad. Georgia joined Woodley as a year five student at Pembank. She is a quiet and kind student, had been involved in um, the Eat Up program during her time at Woodley. She has a strong sense of gratitude and has said, I constantly think about how lucky I am to be where I am. I had the pleasure of being on Buffalo Adventures with Georgia and it was good to see her flourish in that environment. She tackled every challenge head on. The only one that proved tricky was the early morning starts. Next year, Georgia hopes to get some rest before choosing her path. 
Tom Lewis. Tom joined Woodley in year seven, becoming a member of Homestead Six. Tom is a dedicated student and a talented mathematician who has received numerous mathematical awards, including a high distinction and best in schools in the University of New South Wales mathematics competition in year 10, as well as certificates of achievement in multiple subjects every semester since joining school. Tom is a confident leader on the sporting field and was captain of the SIS football and cricket teams. His sense of humour, energy and enthusiasm mean you can't help but join in both on the field and in the classroom. He hopes to study engineering after leaving Woodley and would like to be remembered as a ripper bloke. <laughs> Lockie Marshall. Lockie has been with Woodley since he was a preppy at Pembank. Lockie has a passion for practical subjects, listing phys ed and product design and technology as his favorite subjects. Lockie has been active in the SIS sports program, competing in a range of sports teams during his time at school, particularly basketball, which is his area of passion. I've lost it. It's okay, I found it. Lockie has shown his leadership skills over the years in numerous camps and activities, and has been a role model for many younger students. Lockie hopes to study exercise science at tertiary level or pursue an apprenticeship in carpentry next year. I believe he would make a great chippy, but will have to practice the art of getting up early. Charlotte Swain. Charlotte has also been with Woodley since prep at Pembank. Charlotte is a dedicated student who has embraced all opportunities available to her during her time at Woodley and was awarded the Dunkley Shield in 2019 in recognition of her commitment and to all she does. Charlotte is a true all-rounder, an accomplished pianist, swimmer and public speaker, whilst remaining humble and quietly spoken. Charlotte has a passion for psychology and helping others and hopes to pursue psychology or occupational therapy next year whilst continuing to pursue adventure wherever she can. Not one to push her way in, Charlotte leads and encourages quietly, making everyone feel valued and included. We wish her all the best. Harper Tutton, who is not with us tonight. Harper first joined Woodley at Minimbar campus in grade one. Tried a few other schools, but ultimately ended up back with us. Harper is an energetic and vivacious young woman who is a lover of arts and media. She's also a social, vocal social advocate and this year was instrumental in leading conversations around respectful language and consent within the school and amongst her peers. Harper is one of those individuals who believes that she can change the world for the better and I truly believe she will. James Ward. James joined Woodley in year eight, becoming a member of Homestead Six. James is a talented musician and actor with a passion for the arts. James has been a constant in all things performing arts since arriving at Woodley, performing in all manner of orchestras, ensembles and school productions. His artistic talents have been frequently showcased during art weeks, most recently this year with amazing performances in the Performance Showcase and the Woodley Film Festival. In 2020, James also composed composed the amazing musical score for the experimental online theatre piece So Far Away. During lockdown, in true musician style, he frequently showed up late wearing dark glasses. Not surprisingly, after Woodley, James plans to begin a Bachelor of Musical Performance and has already been accepted into this degree in Box Hill Institute. Well done. Thank you. It gives me great pleasure to present uh, V4 on behalf of Andrea tonight while she gets to play the role of parent and I get to play the role of windswept gentleman with windswept hair. V4, Will Barrett. Will joined Woodley in Year 7, becoming a member of Homestead 6 and displays an honest and polite frankness coupled with a pleasant sense of humour. Will is a thoughtful and articulate young man with a strong social conscience. He has been a member of both the Consent Committee and the Woodley Committee. 
Will also has a passion for music and playing the drums. I don't know why they're considered separate, but it's okay. And has performed in many musicals as part of an ensemble, orchestra and choir, as well as the school rock band Woodhouse for many years, which he cites as his favourite part of his Woodley experience. We would like to work in the studio recording artists and translating their emotional and political messages to an accessible platform. Manti Buchanan, who is not with us tonight. Manti joined the Minimbar campus in Year 6 and became a member of Homestead 3 upon entering senior campus. She has pursued her passions via the myriad of opportunities available at Woodley and as such has matured into a well-rounded young lady. Manti is a self-motivated student with interests in the farm, equestrian and fashion. She's a very accomplished horse rider who has been a member of the Victorian Youth Dressage Squad and has also represented Woodley in the Victorian Equestrian Interschool Series. Manti has been a valuable tour guide of the senior campus on many occasions and hopes to pursue her interest in travel and a career in fashion. Jess Cole. Jess has been with Woodley since she began as a three-year-old at Penbank. She joined Homestead 6 when arriving at the senior campus and was awarded the most employable student in the Year 9 mock interviews. Jess has made valuable contributions to the performing arts with her participation in Footloose, Legally Blonde and her recent drama solo featuring Cleopatra. Jess is a caring and empathetic young woman who always strives to achieve her best. She hopes to pursue tertiary study in psychology next year with the aim of becoming a clinical psychologist where she can support people and help them to overcome their battles. We wish her all the best. Harry Daniello. Harry joined Woodley and Homestead 7 as a Year 7 student and in his time at senior campus has proven himself to be a respected and valued member of the school community who demonstrates admirable qualities such as empathy, commitment and resilience. Harry's passion lies in construction projects in product design and technology and participating in the broad range of sporting opportunities available. He's shown considerable talent and craftsmanship in Jeff's shed in the use of both wood and metal. Harry's also a keen sportsman who's been heavily involved in the SIS sporting program whilst at Woodley, particularly in athletics. Next year, Harry hopes to focus on furthering his practical skills whilst working within the family business. Kiara Davidson. Kiara joined Woodley in year 10, entering and spending a short time in Homestead 1. In her time at senior campus, she's proven herself to be a supportive friend and has demonstrated admirable resilience and positivity. Kiara quickly involved herself in a range of opportunities upon joining Woodley, including participating in EatUp and volunteering as a presenter at the Subject Selection Expo. Kiara also undertook the Buffalo Adventures Camp last year, embracing the physical challenges that this camp experience provided. After Woodley, Kiara plans on having a gap year to travel and explore some hobbies, but then would like to study paramedicine. Marnie Hoskin. Marnie came to Woodley at the beginning of Year 7, joining the Homestead 7 family. She's a creative and independent young woman who has demonstrated a love of learning and the strength to pursue her passions and interests. She has quietly involved herself in an amazing amount of co-curricular activities while at Woodley, whilst also maintaining an excellent level of application and achievement across all her subjects. Marnie's involved herself in the arts, music, sports and community service actions, performing in ensembles and choirs, presenting works for exhibition, and representing the school in sports as well as undertaking international exchanges. Marnie hopes to further her studies in psychology and undertake further travel. Nick Island. Nick joined Woodley as a year five student at Minimbar. He is a friendly and caring young man who with his humour and easy manner has made many lasting friends at Woodley. He counts the Mount Buffalo camp as one of his most memorable experiences at Woodley increasing his appreciation for silence. Nick impressed all with his funny and heartfelt speech at the recent Year 12 Reflection Service. Next year, Nick hopes to pursue the things that bring him joy and his advice to new Woodley students is to try everything on offer. Lana Kavanagh. Lana joined Woodley's Minimbar campus as a Year 3 student and joined Homestead 3 in Year 7. She's a polite, mature young woman and has embraced many of the co-curricular offerings. Lana enjoys the performing arts and has been a regular member of school productions, including Little Shop of Horrors, Footloose and The Crucible. Lana has also been a long-term member of the netball team throughout her time here at the school. She has also been actively engaged with the Round Square program and was fortunate and brave enough to undertake an exchange to Switzerland in 2019. 
Lana hopes to study public relations. Jake McCormack. Jake joined Woodley School and Homestead 6 as a Year 10 student in Semester 2 of 2019. He's an independent and confident student who has a keen interest in mathematics, English and creative writing. Since joining Woodley, Jake has participated in the scuba diving and Adelaide Arts Camps and credits the Arts Camps for increasing his interest in higher forms of art. His visual communication folio piece was an Enviro Styles design for the Melbourne CBD and featured in the Dame Elizabeth Murdoch Gallery as part of the Arts Week Showcase. Jake hopes to pursue a career in architecture and is aiming for a Bachelor of Design and a Master's Degree in Architecture at Melbourne University. You're done. <laughs> I can keep going, but I'm, I'm, I'm out of paper. Harry Robertson. Harry joined Woodley as a Year 7 student and was a member of Homestead 4. He's been a reliable, conscientious and inquisitive member of Senior Homestead. Harry has an interest in computing and information technology, as well as music. He has been recognised for his outstanding contribution to the musical life of the school, and his involvement has included many bands, ensembles, choirs and orchestras. He was also a wonderful stage manager for the Woodley production of Legally Blonde. Harry hopes to study a Bachelor of IT, Cybersecurity, with a Bachelor of Arts in Music or Politics or History at Monash next year. Come well on, Harry. Yuki Savage. Yuki has been with Woodley since beginning in prep at the Minimbar campus. She's a hardworking and determined young woman who has taken advantage of the many experiences on offer to her. Yuki has been consistently involved in community service programs, including Eat Up, the Homework and Learning Club, and participating in Operation Wallacea. She has also undertaken Round Square International Exchanges with Regent School in Thailand and also to Peru in Year 10. Yuki has a passion for the creative arts and produced two very substantial, colourful and meaningful artworks for Studio Art, which took pride of place in the gallery for the Arts Week Showcase. Next year, Yuki, hope he, Yuki, Yuki hopes to defer from psychological sciences to work and travel and maybe also continue to immerse in her passion for art. Oh, but. Amy Thomas. Amy joined Woodley in Year 10 as a member of Homestead 7. She is a confident and mature young lady who has worked tirelessly to achieve her personal best. Amy has a passion for visual communication and creative writing and has been recognised for a consistent production of work in all her subjects since joining the school. She produced some highly impressive studio art and visual communication folio work this year. Amy has also seized opportunities such as tutoring for the Homework and Learning Club and she identified the Mount Hotham Ski Camp as her most memorable Woodley experience as it pushed her outside of her comfort zone and gave her the opportunity to make many, many new friends. Amy hopes to undertake tertiary study in architecture next year. What an Amy. V4. Hey everybody, I've got the uh, privilege of introducing my wonderful V5 kids to, uh, tonight. Can I just say it's really fantastic to see so many familiar faces out there and just great for us all to be back, you know, having a function like this and to be able to celebrate this whole year level who have uh, had a pretty crazy two years, but the resilience they've shown has been pretty incredible. Um, first, I'd like to introduce Mr. Asher Barron. Asher joined Woodley as a Year 10 student spending a semester in Homestead 6. He is a dedicated, committed and driven young man who has a bright future ahead of him. Asher has a talent for maths and science and has a passion for biology and chemistry. Asher has participated in the aviation program and through the Gippsland and Mount Buffalo adventure camps quickly made many friends at Woodley. Beyond secondary school, Asher hopes to undertake tertiary study in business and to become a millionaire. Crypto. <laughs> Thanks, man. Gemma came to Woodley, or sorry, uh, Gemma Bond. Gemma came to Woodley in 2016 as a Year 7 student. 
She's a caring, considerate young person, and it has been an absolute pleasure to hear her speak so beautifully and so confidently at this evening's valedictory dinner. Gemma quickly demonstrated talents in mathematics and science and was recognised as a Kwong Lee Dao Scholar and accepted into the Young Scholars Program with Melbourne University in 2020. She's involved herself in sports, community projects, and she also has a creative site side and cites her involvement in school productions as her most memorable experiences at Woodley. Gemma hopes to study arts law at Deakin University next year. Well done, Gemma. Don't blow away. Harrison Carter. Harrison has been with Woodley since he was a preppy all those years back ago back at Minimbar. I have fond memories of his rather interesting culinary skills when in year nine on Outward Bound, which have thank thankfully improved greatly in year 12 food studies. Hab's particular interest is in data analytics, and he is a keen snow skier, representing Woodley at the Victorian Interschool Snow Sports Championships in Ski Cross and the Alpine Giant Slalom. Hab has also been part of the aviation program and for, uh, for a number of years and achieved his first solo flight in a Cessna 152 recently. Harrison is still deciding upon his path next year, but is considering pursuing a career in the automotive industry. What well don't have. Uh, Kasper Kaski is unable to join us, but I'd like to read out uh, his citation. Kasper joined Woodley in year seven, becoming a member of Homestead 3. He, sh he has shown honesty, integrity, and resilience throughout his VCE, and I've thoroughly enjoyed my interactions with him. Casper is a creative student who has said he likes the freedom of being able to make something that's my own instead of having to follow strict criteria. His subject in interests lie in studio art and visual communication. Casper recounts his trip to the NASA space camp as his most memorable experience at Woodley. Casper hopes to find a path in game development after Woodley. Sebastian Cleary. Seb came to Woodley in year 10, joining Homestead 2 for the year. He is a real character, and his excitable nature has been apparent in many morning meetings and Homestead sessions. Seb's strength is in product design and technology, a subject he enjoys and finds satisfying. Seb recounts the Mount Buffalo Adventures Camp as his most memorable experience at Woodley and enjoyed being able to share the experience with close friends. Seb is considering travel to Japan or a career in health sciences or maybe even both next year. No worries, mate. Dylan Dowden. Dylan joined Woodley as a year five student at Minimbar and moved into Homestead 3 when joining the senior campus. He is a warm, friendly individual who definitely wins the V5 award for best hair, in my opinion. Dylan loves the outdoors and practical work and has a passion for product design and technology. He has also been a pivotal member of the HPV team at Woodley, through which he has shown great dedication and leadership. Dylan lists the Overland, seven, Overland Track seven-day hike as his most memorable Woodley experience. Next year, Dylan intends to take a gap year and gain more experiences as the Woodley life has encouraged him to do. Samuel Dupoy. Samuel joined Woodley as a year seven student and was a member of Homestead 2. They are a super friendly and kind young person with quite awesome taste in 90s rock music. Metal. Soundgarden. Music is Sam's passion. They are a talented guitarist and have been a regular performer at musicals, assemblies, and important school events as a soloist, as a member of concert bands, and within the rock band Woodhouse. Sam's talent was also recently on show in our Reflection Service, where he performed brilliantly. Sam has also been an active member of the sports program, representing the school in swimming, athletics, and football. He recounts Hatta as his most memorable experience here at Woodley and hopes to pursue further study in music and perhaps a career in the music industry. Nice, mate. Caitlin Everett. Caitlin joined Woodley in year 11, coming straight into senior homestead and quickly earning the respect of all students in her year level. She's a positive young person whose smile lights up a room. 
Caitlin is a creative student with a passion for media and filmmaking, and her talent in this area was on display during the recent Woodley Film Festival. Caitlin is also a keen surfer and sports person and has represented the school in soccer, football, and netball. Next year, Caitlin hopes to go on a gap year to travel and surf, lucky you, and then to pursue a career in film and videography. Thanks, Caitlin. Alexi Guy, too good. Alexi came to the school in year seven and was a member of Homestead One for her junior years. She is the epitome of a Woodley student, someone who has made the most of every opportunity and done so with humility, grace, and a smile on her face. Lexi is a talented maths and science student who has received an academic excellence award every year she has been with the school and was also awarded the Year 11 Science Faculty Prize last year. She is also a talented sports person, footballer and middle distance runner and has held the title of Girls Cross Country Champion at Woodley in her year level for many years. This year she again won the Year 12 Girls Cross Country and placed fifth in the Division A Under 21 Cross Country Carnival. Post Woodley, Lexi would like to study medicine and mechanical engineering and design, where she aims to manufacture and fit prosthetics that are functional, cosmetically accurate and affordable. Well done, Lexi. Jordan Hammock. Jordan joined Woodley in year seven and was a member of Homestead One. He has come a very long way since I first encountered him in our noisy year eight English classroom and all Woodley staff are delighted to see the kind and confident young man he has become. Jordan is a genuine and friendly student with an interest in business and economics. He is also a talented sportsman and footballer and was captain of this year's senior football team. He has been a consistent performer in all sports during his time here, um, and he is heavily involved in community service and has also coached junior sports teams in basketball and football for many years. He works brilliantly with younger children and is a well-loved and highly respected coach. After Woodley, Jordan wants to go to university to study business, to travel, and also so beautifully to help his grandparents on their farm. Thanks, Jordan. Michael Hobbs. Michael started with Woodley in year five at Minnenbar campus, and he joined Homestead for when moving to the senior campus. He has a great sense of humour, although I'm not sure trying to constantly capsize my canoe on Outward Bound was as funny as he thought it was. Actually, I think that was the other way around, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Michael has been heavily involved in the Human Powered Vehicle or HPV program, and his excellent contribution to this has been consistently recognised over his time at the school. Michael has been the student driver of this program, competing regularly and re also regularly promoting this at assemblies. Understandably, Michael counts this as the most memorable and influential experience of his time at school. Michael is still considering his options for next year, but is looking into a career in fabrication and engineering. Luke Kelly. Luke joined Woodley in year seven and spent years seven to 10 in Homestead Six. He is an inquisitive young person who is forward thinking and who possesses a quiet confidence that is admired by his teachers and students alike. Luke is a critical and creative thinker with an interest in talent in visual communication and design. In his time at Woodley, he has been a member of the rock band Woodhouse, represented the school in numerous sports, including athletics and cross country, and participated in the Operation Wallacea trip to Indonesia, which he counts as his most memorable experience at Woodley. After Woodley, Luke hopes to travel and experience more of the world and perhaps pursue tertiary study and a career in design. Thanks, Luke. No worries, mate. Rupert McLaurin. Looking so sharp today. I'm so jealous. Uh, anyway, you got a job too. Okay. Rupert joined Woodley in year seven, becoming a member of Homestead 4. I have been fortunate enough to be his year nine and his year 12 tutor, and it has been a pleasure to experience firsthand his great sense of humour and his kind, warm nature throughout the last four years. Rupert is a talented performer with a passion for media and the performing arts. 
His talents and humour have been showcased throughout his time at Woodley through productions such as So Far Away, the Woodley Film Festival, the Performance Showcase, presenting at Assemblies and emceeing the Year 10 musicale as well. Rupert credits Woodley for helping him to find a deeper appreciation for love, humour, hope, gratitude, creativity and curiosity, and he cherishes the friendships he has made here. After Woodley, Rupert hopes to pursue a career in film or comedy in which we know he will be successful. Grace Malloy. Grace joined Woodley in 2018 as a Year 9 student, moving into Homestead 3. I have thoroughly enjoyed my interactions with her this year, although let's be honest, 8.45 a.m. morning meetings aren't really her thing. It's true. Grace has a real talent for computing and data analytics, but her passion is in media, an industry in which she is already establishing a presence. This year, Grace was appro approached to develop and animate um, a video showcasing information about VCAL, and she has also been involved in the production of an augmented reality game that was presented at a gaming convention. Next year, Grace hopes to pursue, or should we say, further develop her career in media and game design. Pia Murray. Pia joined Woodley in Year 7, becoming a member of Homestead 1. She's a quirky and interesting young person with a clever and dry sense of direct humour. I have very much enjoyed my interactions with her this year. Pia is a diligent student who has received an award for academic excellence in every year of her time at Woodley. She's a talented mathematician and has received numerous academic um, competition awards. Pia has also represented the school in numerous sports, including netball, football, and cross country, and she came third in this year's Homestead Cross Country. Just to round it off, um, Pia had also designed the logo that featured on the Year 12 hoodies this year. After Woodley, Pia hopes to study forensic taphonomy. Well done, Pia. Thank you very much, and well done, V5. Yeah. Thank you. Good evening, graduates, families, and friends. My name is Irene Balder, and I'm the tutor for V6. It is with pride that I introduce the following students. Jared Cameron, who is not with us this evening. Jared joined Woodley and Homestead II in 2016 as a year seven student. Jared is a diligent student with a keen enthusiasm for physics and is also a talented and accomplished snowboarder. Jared has been a constant member of the snow sports team, competing in both the Victorian and National Interschool Sports Championships. He was a leader during these camps and invested a lot of time teaching and coaching his fellow Woodley students. Jared speaks of Hatta as his most memorable, challenging, and rewarding experience at school. After Woodley, Jared plans to go to university and to continue to see where his involvement with snowboarding can take him. I wish Jared every success in achieving his ambitions. Bethany Clements. Beth has been a Woodley student since she was three years old in the Early Learning Center at Minimba. I've come to enjoy Beth's contributions to our tutor group discussions, where she has always provided considered opinions and respectfully participated in some lively group debates. Beth is an independent and dedicated student who has been recognized for her constant application and effort to her work throughout her time at Woodley. She has been a member of the concert choir and acted as a student support leader. Her fondest memories of school are the horse riding in the high country and year nine outward bound adventure camps. Next year, Beth hopes to pursue tertiary studies and a career in education. I wish Beth every success in reaching her goals. Congratulations, Beth. 
Amber Cooper. Amber started at Woodley as a three-year-old in the Early Learning Center at Minimbaugh. Being able to get to know Amber via tutor group, I've come to observe that she's a respectful, caring, and self-assured young woman with a keen interest in biology. Amber has a strong social conscience where she has been a regular volunteer at Eat Up and volunteers twice a year at the Disabled Surfers Association in Point Leo. She has represented Woodley School in both swimming and soccer. Amber thinks Outward Bound and Hatta as her most memorable experiences at Woodley. After her studies here, Amber intends to go to university and study veterinary medicine and bioscience. A goal I envisage will be successfully attained. Congratulations, Amber. You're welcome. John Faulkner. John joined Woodley at year seven as a member of Homestead Two. I first met John as his mathematics teacher for year 10 advanced mathematics, and then again for chemistry and tutor group for over the past two years. John is a diligent student who has consistently been recognized for his application and effort across all subjects throughout his time at the school. He is a talented sportsman and athlete who has represented Woodley in school and cross country and basketball competitions and has played basketball in the FDBA team since year seven. John has spoken of his desire to pursue studies in engineering, and I wish that he attained success on his pathway. Congratulations, John. Dan A. Fidel. Dan came to Woodley in 2017, joining Homestead Three as a year eight student. Dan has a keen sense for detail and an interest in the French language. In this, I think we are kindred spirits. She is an industrious young woman, who has involved herself in many events and activities during her time at Woodley. Dan has been a constant presence in the Brian Henderson Reserve, giving tours at open days, providing basic wildlife education, and helping maintain and care for the reserve and animals during her free time since joining the school. Dan has also helped organize various reconciliation group assemblies and events at Idaho Hobbit Days. Next year, Dan hopes to commence a bachelor's degree at university and pursue a career in environmental science. I wish her all the best. Congratulations, Dan. Bodhi Hutchins isn't with us this evening. Bodhi joined Woodley in year seven in 2016 and became a member of Homestead Three. I have enjoyed Bodhi's willingness to assist me in various IT troubleshooting instances since I first knew Bodhi in year 10 advanced mathematics. I consider myself a technophile, but my skills pale in comparison to Bodhi's. Bodhi is a conscientious and diligent student with an interest in science and physical education. He has been recognized for his consistent application and effort to his work throughout his time at Woodley. Bodhi has a strong social conscience and this year participated in the world's greatest shave, raising just over $566 and committing to keep his head shaved, which is now in excess of 32 weeks. Next year, Bodhi hopes to pursue tertiary study in science and biomedical science, a pathway in which I'm confident he will find success. Owen Kirschenberg. Owen came to Woodley in 2017 towards the end of year eight. Owen has a passion and talent for design. Through his talent, I've come to know Owen. His design featured on this year's school diary, and he has already begun a woodworking business outside of school. He is a diligent student and has been awarded for academic ex excellence each year. Owen counts the Overland Track and Hatta Camps as experiences that have played a key role in shaping his personal development. Post Woodley, Owen plans to continue developing his work, woodworking business during a gap year before studying industrial design at Swinburne University. I anticipate Owen's designs will one day bring joy to many. Congratulations, Owen. Nicholas O'Leary couldn't be with us this evening. Nick joined Woodley term three of year 10, moving into Homestead seven. I valued his measured manner in which he would share his thoughts and consideration for others. Nick enjoys media and humanities, and with his friendly and easygoing nature, he's quickly made many friends here at Woodley. Nick has been commended for his consistent application and effort in mathematics, visual communication, and media. Nick has fond memories of the photography camp, which allowed him to gain a wealth of knowledge in a short period of time in which he will always remember and use. In 2022, Nick plans to enter the workforce for a year and then study arts, business, and university. Emily Pei. Emily came to Woodley in year 10, joining the Homestead One family, just in time to attend Hatta. 
I've come to know Emily only through Twitter Group, but I've come to admire her for her leadership skills and tenacity for overcoming challenges and her support of her peer group. Emily is an independent young woman with interests in psychology, English, and legal studies. In her short time at the school, Emily has volunteered for the ETA program and represented Woodley in interschool soccer. Emily counts Hatta as her most memorable experience. After Woodley, Emily hopes to travel and perhaps take a gap year before attending university to study psychology. I wish Emily every success in her future pathway. Congratulations, Emily. Joe Ruskell. Joe first joined Woodley as a year seven student in 2016, and we were pleased to welcome him back to the senior homestead this year. I've come to learn that Joe is an empathetic individual who forms strong friendships with, home, with those whom he considers close. Joe is an introspective and compassionate young person who is fascinated by history and psychology. He is also interested in the gaming industry and its products, a spark that was lit by his work experience at Nintendo Australia in year 10. Next year, Joe would like to study Japanese at university and potentially join the localization team of a Japanese video game company such as Nintendo, Sega, or Capcom. Given Joe's commitment to his passions, I anticipate he will reach his goals. Congratulations, Joe. And last but certainly not least, Jack Smith. Jack started Woodley in year seven and has involved himself in an array of activities during his time at the school. Jack may seem unassuming to those who don't know know him, but broach the topics of drama and music and his face lights up. Jack is an all-rounder and has participated in sports, community service, and extracurricular activities. Due to his passion for music and performance, Jack has graced the stage for numerous events as a soloist in the band Woodhouse and other choirs and ensembles. He has also been a peer support leader and school tour guide. Jack is keeping his options open, hoping to pursue a career in path in music, drama or sports, and has held a long-standing goal to compete at least once on the ITF or ATP tour. I anticipate that Jack will achieve his aim. Congratulations, Jack. Please join me in congratulating the graduates of V6. All right. Um, my sincerest apologies for earlier. I omitted a citation for a student who isn't here, but may well be tuning in on our live stream, thanks to our crew at the back. So it, it does give me um, great pleasure to read the citation for Will Hayswinkle, who is absent tonight. Will joined Pembank as a Year 5 student and joined Homestead 4 when entering the senior campus in Year 7. Will is a keen sportsman, a talented runner, and he's been heavily involved in the SIS sporting program whilst at Woodley, particularly in athletics and cross-country running. In 2019, he placed first in the Invitational 1500 metres Middle Distance Championships at the Homestead Athletics Carnival, won the Homestead Cross Country Carnival and represented Woodley at the All Schools State Cross Country Championships. Next year, Will hopes to pursue an arts degree. So congratulations, Will, if you're tuning in at home. And now for the next phase. Uh, we will now be recognising our faculty award winners and it gives me uh, a pleasure to introduce our head of campus, Natalie McLennan, who will be presenting the awards to our recipients. So the recipient, recipient of the English prize is Bella Gosling. Come up and be recognised. Oh, there we go. The Mathematics Faculty Prize is awarded to Jack Shalikoff. The, the Humanities Prize is awarded to Bella Gosling.
you don't have to, don't have to go very far. <laughs> the award for personal de for the personal development faculty goes to Ned Murdoch. The Faculty Award for Science is awarded to Jack Shalikoff. The Award for the Arts Faculty goes to Owen Kirschenberg. Keep the applause going, it's a long way to go. And the Faculty Award from Lote is awarded to Ainsley Payton. Please, another warm round of applause for our recipients. Uh, it's my great pleasure to announce the Principals Awards for 2021. Principals Awards are presented in recognition of a student's outstanding contribution to the cultural life of the school. Hopefully we're ready. Our, we okay? Okay. Our first Principals Award recipient is Isabel Allen. <clears throat> Isabel is a talented and intelligent young woman who has made an outstanding contribution to the culture of Woodley School community. Over her time at the school, Isabel has been awarded for academic excellence in years 7, 8, 9 and 11, received the 2020 Year 11 Humanities Faculty Prize, made a significant contribution to the musical life of the school, hosting and performing in musicals, the arty market, assemblies and cafe concerts. And she has been a regular volunteer for Eat Up during her time at the Senior Homestead. She's the most worthy recipient of a Principal's Award. Our next Principal's Award recipient is Isabella Gosling. Bella is an ex exceptionally intelligent young person. She has made many outstanding contributions to the school community during her time at Woodley. Bella has been awarded for academic excellence every year of her time at the senior campus. She received the 2021 English Faculty and Humanities Awards, we've just seen. She received the 2020 Year 11 Language Other Than English um, Faculty Prize. She has been involved in the Round Square program as a delegate, a leader and a student interviewer over many years. And she has made a significant contribution to the sporting life of the school as a member of numerous teams, including netball, basketball, football, and athletics. She's the most worthy recipient of a Principal's Award. Our next Principal's Award recipient is Gemma Bond. It's all right, just take your time. Gemma is a committed and intelligent young person who has fully involved herself in the life of the school. In recent years, Gemma has been awarded for academic ex excellence in years 7, 8, 9 and 10, being recognised for her con consistent recognition for excellent application and effort across all subjects. She was awarded, the, awarded a Kwong Lee Dao Young Scholarship in 2020 she has made significant, a significant contribution to the sporting life of the school as a member of numerous teams, and she has also made a significant contribution to the performing arts as a performer in Footloose, Legally Blonde, and So Far Away, and as a member of the Concert Choir. Gemma is the most worthy recipient of a Principal's Award.
Our next Principals Award recipient is Ainsley Payton. Over her time at the school, Ainsley has received the 2021 Language Other Than English Lote Faculty Prize, been awarded for academic excellence in years eight, nine, and 10. She has made a significant contribution to the sporting life of the school as a member of numerous teams. She has performed in Footloose, The Crucible, and as a member of the Concert Choir. And she has also been a consistent volunteer in the Eat Up program and the Homework and Learning Club. She's the most deserving of this Principal's Award. Our next Principal's Award recipient is Ruby Broomhall. Ruby is a hardworking and generous young person who has made an outstanding contribution to the life of Woodley School. This year, Ruby was awarded the Defence Force ADF Long Tan Youth Leadership and Teamwork Award, which she's only just learning about right now. <laughs> In 2020, she received the Year 11 Arts Faculty Prize. She's been awarded for academic excellence in years 7, 8, 9 and 11. Ruby has coordinated the EAT UP program since 2018. She was a feature cast member and assistant dance captain of Legally Blonde, the musical, has been a member of the concert choir since year seven and performed in Footloose, The Crucible and So Far Away. And she has made a significant contribution to the sporting life of the school as a member of numerous teams, including netball and athletics. Ruby is most deserving of this principal's award. Our next principal's award goes to Raya Flinos. Oh, oops. Okay, Raya. It's all right. Round of applause for Raya, I think she's got up During her time at Woodley, Raya has been consistently recognised for excellent application and effort across all subjects. In 2020, she was awarded the King Constantine Medal in, recon in recognition of her commitment to the round square ideals of internationalism, democracy, environmentalism, adventure, leadership and service. She has been a tireless contributor to community service causes throughout her time at the school, including volunteering for Eat Up, the Homework and Learning Club, organising the Big Sleep Out for Homelessness and as a student tour guide and a peer support leader. She has also made an excellent contribution to the sporting life of the school as a member of the netball, handball and soccer teams. Raya is a committed and caring young person who has fully involved herself in the life of the school. She's the most worthy recipient of a principal's award. Our next principal's award recipient is Alexi Guy Tugut. In her time with the school, Lexi has been awarded for academic excellence every year in, of her time in the senior campus. In 2020, she won the Year 11 Science Faculty Prize. She's been consistently recognised for excellent application and effort across all subjects. She has made an excellent contribution to the sporting life of the school as a cross country and football captain, as well as a member of numerous teams, including athletics, softball, netball, handball and soccer. Lexi is a committed and intelligent young person who has fully involved herself in the life of the school. She is the most worthy recipient of a Principal's Award. Our next Principal's Award goes to Olivia Marshall. During her time at Woodley, Olivia has been consistently recognised for excellent application and effort across all subjects. She has been a consistent volunteer in the EDUP program and the Homework and Learning Club. She has demonstrated outstanding peer leadership in the organisation and running of student forums. And she has made an excellent contribution to the sporting life of the school as swimming captain and member of numerous teams, including cross country, handball, indoor cricket, softball and soccer. Olivia is a principled and committed young person who has made an outstanding contribution to the school and she's a most worthy recipient of this award.
And our final Principals Award recipient is Charlotte Swain. Charlotte has been consistently recognised for excellent application and effort across all subjects. In 2018, she was awarded the Dunkley Shield. She has been a quiet but constant contributor to community service causes throughout her time at the school, including leading the Lost Property Buyback Scheme and participation in Eat Up, the Homework and Learning Club, the Big Sleep Out for Homelessness, and as a student tour guide and peer support leader. She has also made an excellent contribution to the sporting life of the school as a member of numerous teams, including swimming, athletics, and netball. Charlotte is a hardworking and generous young person who has made an outstanding contribution to the school community and is a most worthy recipient of this Principal's Award. Please join me once more in uh, applauding our Principal's Award winners. It's my uh, great pleasure this evening to announce the winner of the Woodley Prize, which is a prize for the best all-round student in the middle and senior years at Woodley School. And this year's winner is Emma Sherrington. <laughs> Emma is an exceptionally talented young person. She was the recipient of the Year 11 Personal Development Faculty Prize. She also received many academic excellence awards over years seven to 11. Emma's community service involvement has been extensive. She's been participating in several round, or has participated in several round square conferences, including this year's international online conference, as well as a leader of the Gen, at the Gen Z Mindshifters Conference in 2019, where she designed the logo. She has also been involved in International Women's Day and Eat Up. Further outstanding co-curricular participation and leadership extends to Emma's extensive involvement in music, especially focus orchestra, concert choir, chamber choir, rock band, and the piano, and sport, including SIS soccer, athletics, and especially cross country, where she placed second in the year 12 girls event this year. She's had extensive involvement in a multitude of Woodley events. Emma is not only a fine scholar, but also a young person with outstanding personal, personal qualities including compassion and empathy. She has the skills and initiative to make a difference to the world around her. In recognition of her many fine achievements and her enormous contribution to the school community, she is a most worthy recipient of the Woodley Prize for 2021. Folded this earlier. Throughout my experience, Woodley's always been a place that was full of opportunities, a place to step out of your comfort zone while staying in a safe environment. I found, like many others, that it was way too tempting to fill each and every lunchtime playing new sports, joining clubs, bands, and choirs, meeting people with similar passions, and making lasting friends outside of my year level and even from other countries. While I know I owe a lot to the academic guidance I got here at Woodley, I think it's the experiences beyond the classroom that people remember about high school, that what makes our experience so special. While in a few years time, I'm sure many of us won't remember all the formulae we learned in year seven maths, 
I know it'll take much, much longer for us to forget the view of the stars at Hatter or the way the cast of a production gradually feels like a family, albeit a very sleep-deprived one. The times we spend arguing about which junior homestead was the best, even though it was obviously Homestead 4. I think we can agree that how incredible these past few years have been not only comes from a school that opens so many doors for us, but to a passionate, resilient and kind year level that I am so proud of. Thank you very much. Uh, tonight marks the end of um, a Woodley journey as parents for some of the families tonight. Um, and whilst this might be the end of your time as parents, we certainly hope that it's not um, the end of your family's association with the school. We have 17 families ending their time as parents with the school this evening, 11 of which have been parents of the school for over 10 years. So I'd like to acknowledge these families. Tonight, we farewell the Bolshers, the Carters, the Coles, the Cooper family, the Daniello family, the Fusters, the Kavanaghs, the McDonalds, the McGrees, the Marshall family, the Payton family, the Robertsons, the Sahalis, the Savage family, the Sherringtons and the Tutton family. On behalf of the whole school community, I thank you for the, contr the contribution you and your children have made to the culture of Woodley and to what it is. And I want to assure you that the invitation to renew your association is always open. Thank you. So I'm going to invite Linda Robertson to the stage. Now it's my turn to try and trip. Um, I've brought my husband with me as well. Joint effort. Uh, it is our privilege and honour to stand before you all this evening. We'd like to thank Woodley staff for inviting us to speak on behalf of all parents. It is a bittersweet time for us, as it may be for many parents here tonight. Bitter as our association with this outstanding school is ending, but sweet as we sit and plan what to do with our newfound wealth. <laughs> we would also like to congratulate all the students of the 2021 VCE class on their achievements throughout the year. Thankfully, we have the opportunity to gather together and celebrate tonight. This is not only a celebration of your achievements for this year, it is a celebration of the culmination of all the years of your formal education. I first learned of Woodley after several of my friends started at Woodley Senior Campus shortly after it was opened. In those days, Woodley had a reputation as an alternative school. What was alternative in the 1970s is now best practice in the 2000s. In the 1970s, Woodley did not have the resources it has now. Where we're sitting now was bushland. And in, 19, um, in 78, I came here to play baseball against a Woodley team on what is now the soccer oval. Back then, it was a paddock that had been slashed for the game. From home plate to first base was a good uphill run, as was second to first, making sure to dodge the cow pats on the running line. And if you made it to second, it was all downhill to third and home. I think that one there. Our family connection to Woodley began in 2005 when our outer son, William, started. Paul Turner was the principal at the time. Following William, we had two daughters, Catherine and Adelaide, attend. And now we're, we're at the end of our direct involvement with Woodley in the education of our children, with Harrison completing year 12 at this year. 
Uh, since 2005, we've seen so many changes, new principals, new teachers, a new canteen and many other beautiful new buildings. These things may have changed, but the reason we were drawn to Woodley as the best place for our children to be educated has not. That is the main ethos of the school, treating students with respect and giving them the opportunity to grow and develop into young adults who are well-rounded individuals. And of course, none of this would be possible without the dedication of the staff and the support they provide for all the students. Thank you to each and every one of you for your commitment and encouragement. For the graduating class this year, you have faced so many challenges beginning with remote learning in 2020. Although you have missed many of the usual milestones such as sporting events, camps, music hall, you have shown resilience and commitment and have made it through. No one could have anticipated how difficult it must have been for you to maintain motivation. Any student who has completed year 12 at all will tell you that it is hard to stay strong and follow through. The fact that you have made it along with all these added complexities is a testament to your strength and tenacity. You are all so much more than an ATAR score. For those of you here who achieve the marks they expect or need, well done. You've achieved academic success under some of the most challenging conditions possible. But for any of you who don't quite get the score you are looking for, rest assured that the skills you have acquired at Woodley will enable you to achieve success. The path to get where you want to go may not be a straight line, but some of the best journeys and stories come from taking the long road. If you follow your dreams and aspirations, I am sure you will succeed wherever your path takes you. The last two years have shown us parents, teachers and the entire world exactly how capable and resilient your generation is. Go forward with the knowledge that you are well equipped to take on anything you may encounter in your next step in your journey. Thank you. That concludes the formal valedictory presentation. Can I please ask the class of 2021 to be upstanding to receive a final and very well deserved congratulatory round of applause? We will now have a group photo followed by dinner and refreshments in the TP. Can I ask students to move to the stage for the group photo? Parents, feel free to stay and take your own photos or head out to the TP. Thank you. Excellent. Congratulations.